So I want to have some discussion about some ideas about education. And this presentation works best as a discussion. But you're not here right now, so I just have to deal with some of my thoughts. And something prompted our discussion, I started to pull a 30-year-old cartoon. Comic strip, actually. And it would get us going. These guys! Everyone loves Calvin and Hobbes. If you don't know Calvin and Hobbes, look it up. So, when I first started looking, I see some interesting things. Things that we're talking about now. And how could he have known 30 years ago? Or was it still going on 30 years ago? You know, Calvin just daydreaming. You know, now his eyes aren't on screensaver. They're actually on screens. But... You know, some of the vision that he had, or was this going on then? Has this been going on for such a long time? You know, Calvin, we want him to demonstrate a board. That's yeah, simple. We still do that now. But we're still programming compliance. It seems like a lot of places are. And, but this is 30, 35 years ago. Why have we not gotten better? And even then, he wanted to talk about 21st century education. Will it prepare him for it? And it's not a question we're asking now. How did he know this? How did Waterston have this, this vision? You know, so he's going to bring a snowflake for show and tell. Awesome. We do show and tell sometimes. Not so much in high school, but we do have kids bring stuff. You know, it's unique, it's exquisite. And then when it gets in the classroom, classrooms are boring. Not yours, not mine. Well, maybe sometimes. But, you know, we've created kids who, you know, this society of reward me. And we've created a lot of our things, a lot of our problems, a lot of our issues because of how we do things. Our culture we've created in school. Culture destroys, their, culture, culture rules. Culture is everything. You know, and then there's this idea of, uh, you know, if two people took this two ways, and that's great. That's why it's better to have a discussion with this. Um, you know, he's looking for data. He's trying to find data in, in everything. So, I mean, that's a great idea. A kid's looking for data and information and and that. But then on the other hand, there's this thing of uh, our system starting to be ruled by data that, you know, just because you can measure it doesn't mean that it signifies anything. And like Calvin says, you know, if your numbers go up, it means you're having more fun. Well, we know that's not true. Um, so I like the two po points of view that people had. One is, you know, hey, let's keep looking for data, researching, trying to find answers. On the other hand, uh, education's trying to, people at the top of education trying to push data on us. And data we know that doesn't really mean anything and trying to use it for things that it shouldn't be used for. That's a bigger thing. You know, same kind of thing, graphing, or you know, da, 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 information. So ba both sides of the view, trying to do better, trying to find some things. Uh, but Hobb just says that, I thought it was supposed to be fun. And prefer tr trust the experts, really? I'm not quite sure that the experts are experts in education. They try to tell us they are. Um, we know who the experts are because we're in the education some of the people outside. So we tried to have a discussion. So that's just part one, just priming us. Uh, next part we'll talk about, uh, you know, some uh, questions and some, some uh, questions we should be asking each other. Hard questions, things we should be discussing. If I can figure out how to get out of Snagit.